All right, welcome back. It's Wellness Wednesday. It's National Yoga Month. So Stacy from Yoga 6 has been here uh, sharing tips for you guys, what you can do for focus, what you can do for stress and anxiety. Kara's out here too because she received her yoga teaching certification in the summer. Last summer? In June. June, yeah. Okay, so uh, we've got a bunch of experts here to help you guys out. So now we want to talk through yoga for chronic pain. So if you have chronic pain, a lot of people come for low back. Oh, my low back hurts, right? Because we sit so much. Uh, what you got? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> what you at got? Our, <laughs> Go. At our Yoga 6 Studios, we see all kinds of different um, scenarios of people coming in, different pain situations happening all over. One of the biggest things is lots of pain in the back upper body and part of the back low body hips we do a lot of sitting back to school and tight hips driving around a lot um, if you're at a desk lots of roundedness through head neck and shoulders um, so these movements are going to be really nice to help open through that area and just shake up that stuck energy so this okay. is going to feel really good so sonia let's get started with a movement okay we'll take a big breath in and circle both arms up overhead exhale find a twist to your right so bring your left hand to your right knee look over your back shoulder Really nice job. And inhale, take your arms back up overhead again. And exhale, twist to the left. Bring your right hand to your left knee. Look over your back shoulder. Nice job. Inhale, take both arms back up overhead. And exhale, bring your hands to your knees. Take a bend in your elbow and pull your chest through your shoulders. Lift your gaze, lift your chest. This is a seated cow pose. Exhale, arch and round through your shoulders, chin to your chest, cat pose. Inhale, let's do that one more time. Lift your chest, lift your gaze. Exhale, arch and round through your shoulders, chin to chest. One thing I think there's really a misconception about I want to mention is that, you know, you see social media and you see all these really cool yogi poses, but yoga is happening right now and you don't have to be flexible, bendy, if you are in pain, this this is yoga. Absolutely, yeah, you can take yoga with you anywhere you go. That's the beauty of it is there's no equipment needed, it's just you and your body, um, whether you have a mat or not. And it's also extremely accessible. So whether you've got injuries, if you've got you know things that need modifications or variations, yoga can meet you exactly where you are. Whether you're new to yoga, whether you're a super experienced practitioner somewhere in between, you can definitely find what you need um, with our yoga practice. And I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I wanted to make sure that people knew that. You see all these yeah. Instagram poses and hashtags. So Absolutely. this is yoga. What else do you recommend? So now what she's doing is twists. Twists are really good to help kind of detox the body. It gives your internal organs a nice little massage. So Sonia, you're, you're doing a great job. Exhale when you find a twist and inhale when you reach your arms up. And you'll just find these movements over and over. The more you do it, the easier it starts to feel in your body. Um, and the more you'll start to feel better right away. You know, and it, it's time to go to Greg. And thank you, Stacy and Kara, um, for being out here and sharing more about this practice, which I love. But Greg, if anything looks complicated, and Stacy mentioned this, it is important to remember if, if someone's watching us and going, I can't sit like that. You can do this stuff in a chair. You can do this stuff, you know, with props, where if you have movement limitations, you can make we can make it easier for you. So, you know, check out these folks at Yoga 6 or wherever you live. They've got tons of locations across North Texas. But just remember, how it looks in someone else's body is not the way it has to look in your body. So, Greg, these seated cat cows, these are going to be really good for you. <laughs> oh, you look you look so relaxed this time. I'm you so really do. super relaxed today. But you, you must have heard Mark and I's conversation. I tattled on you, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so wait, did you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, because I don't think we can sit like that. That's what Mark and I were talking about. I couldn't sit like that without uh, pulling something or hurting myself. So, uh, so good Just to know. Just wait. We'll we work on, hey, our October Fitter Together Challenge is stretching. So Ooh. you will be able to sit like this by November 1st. How about that? Okay. All right. All right. Look forward to that. All right.